episode I will show you how to build platonic solids out of straws. This is very easy, very low cost exercise, accessible to everybody, uh, so uh, there is the advantage there. Um, first let's review platonic solids so that we can use one of the properties of those solids to actually build. So we have a tetrahedron, octahedron and icosahedron here and as you may remember we have triangles and so many triangles in each vertex. Here three triangles in each vertex, four triangles in each vertex and five triangles in each vertex. So here when we are going to be building out of straws, that's how we will be arranging the straws. Three, four, five in each vertex. Then there is cube with four, three squares in each vertex. And then there is the dodecahedron here, which has three pentagons in each vertex. So keeping that in mind, this is going to be the guiding uh, principle of building those solids out of straws. So here what we will have, we have the straws and we will use very widely accessible paper clips. We can do two things to those paper clips. We can join the paper clips uh, to bunches of three, four or five, depending which solid we are making, in the following way. We can just put them one on top of the other, like this, very simply. Or, and this is very simple, no cost, except that it can sometimes get loose a little bit. So another way that, that we could do it, and that's what I will be using here, is to use the jewelry jump rings, which are just those metal rings, and a little plier, that's what I use. And I open the jump ring, uh, like this, with the plier, and I put so many of those paper clips on. So for example, four, like this and I close the, ju the jump ring, okay? So you have to prepare this, those joints for yourselves ahead of time. Of course, you can count how many you need for each of the solids, like, so you count the vertices and count the edges so that you know how many straws you're using. So prepare all of it ahead of time and then we could start building the solids, okay? So now I'll show you how to, how to do it. Let's start with tetrahedron, which has three triangles in each vertex. So what we do, we have three paper clips in a, in a joint and now I take a straw and I stuff that paper clip into the, into the, into the uh, straw. So I have three now, here and here. Very simple. There you go. So now I need another joint here, so I put another one here. Okay, so I put into each one here and Voila! We have a tetrahedron. You can see it's a very nice tetrahedron, stands on its own, and we have the first one. So now we will build the octahedron. The octahedron has uh, four squares in each vertex, so we will need the joints that have four uh, paper clips put together, like this. And
The time has come now to do the third platonic solid, icosahedron. Okay, it has uh, five triangles in each vertex, so we need the connectors that have five paper clips in each joint, right? So here we have it here. So let's start. We have five uh, triangles to put on this one. So let's start building. So it looks like we have half done. Yeah, the thing to remember at this stage is to actually keep it convex so it just puffs up rather than concaves because otherwise it's not going to be easy to take to remove this. Okay, well, we have it. Beautiful icosahedron that is stiff and nice and we can hold it and play with it. We could hang it up in the wall and have a Christmas decoration actually out all those three of them. We've done the three first platonic solids, the ones that are made out of triangles. Now we will go and proceed to make a, a third one, fourth one, which is made out of squares, cubes. So what do we have here? We have three squares coming to each vertex. So now we will need junctions that have three, three paper clips in each junction. And we will need four and four, twelve, eight of those, right? And we will need twelve straws. Okay? So let's start building. We are going to do the same idea. We are going to make squares now uh, and join three straws in each vertex. So let's just do it. It'll take a moment because it has to, but it's going to happen. Okay, so we have a first. Okay, I can see it shaping up here. Okay, so we just kind of look up that every that we are just building squares and not nothing nothing else. Squares here, right? So once we arrive at the square we close. Okay. We have the cube. Nice cube. What happens? The cube, unlike the previous polyhe polyhedra made out of triangles, it doesn't stand. It is floppy. You see? It, it will not stand on its own. So what happens? Why is that? This is the, this is the purpose of this exercise, really. To discover that when we have a structure made out of squares, 
with junctions that are flexible not like out of marshmallows or gummy bears or anything like floppy like the ones that I built then the the cube or the square is flexible triangle on the other hand is not triangle is rigid I built the same junctions I use the same floppy junctions for both so here we came to some to to big geometric truth that really the only polygon that is stable, rigid, is the triangle. And that is the reason why triangle is used in construction, why triangle is used in nature. In fact, those solid, those stiff ones made out of triangles are used in nature a lot. While this one, it's not so much. It needs triangulation. It needs a, a diagonal. So you need to put a triangle into it to make it stiff, okay? So here it's a very good lesson that I would like to actually convey. Now what will happen if we do the pentagons? Will it be stiff? Will it be floppy? That's a question I would like to leave with you. So just to sum it up, I would like to show you how it all comes across. You see, I prepared those uh, polygons with the straws. So we start with triangle, you can see it's nice and stiff. Now we go to square and what happens when the junctions are, are flexible, the square is no longer flexible. You can twist it and you can turn it. There are more degrees of freedom in the junctions then then are required for the for the square so the square can actually move out of plane and can change all the angles so if this happens to square even more so it'll happen to a pentagon you can see when it's flat on the table it's it's good and, but it's very easy to change all the angles and it's still a pentagon right but or you can actually twist it out of the plane so if we wanted to now make shapes out of those polygons, obviously the only ones that are made out of triangles will be stiff. The ones that are made of squares and even more so the ones that are made out of pentagons, which is dodecahedron, they will be floppy. So you will not be able, they will not be able to stand by themselves. I would like to show you how to actually make those floppy shapes a little bit more stiff. So what you have to do? You have to actually put triangles there because triangles are stiff. So here we are. Here, let's look at this square. It is, it is very floppy, but if I put a diagonal into it, like for example, make a junction and put extra line here, like that, okay? Look, it's stiff. It flops this way, so if I had another uh, diagonal here, it will be stiff both ways, right? So to make it stiff this way, I would have to put another diagonal. Okay, the same with pentagon. How to make it stiff in the plane would be to make those triangulations, right? So if you make one triangulation, this part still, still flops because there is there is a quad quadrilateral here. But if I want to make it stiff all together, I will just have to put another junction and we put it here, okay? So with this one, it becomes stiff on a plane. Of course, to secure it out of the plane, I'll have to put more diagonals over there as well. But at least on the plane, it is stiff now, right? You cannot move it any, any longer. So putting triangles into, into shapes, if you like, makes them stiff because the triangle is the only stiff polygon there is, right?